Hey, what's going on? Bill, this is Krosama here. So we're going to take a look at the banners that have just came out. Honestly, I'm not going to say I'm excited. I'm definitely a little bit underwhelmed. Um, but hey, people like Exia. And honestly, I, I think Exia is a really cool mobile suit as well. Dynamis is really awesome as well. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good with the new Gundam. I'm, I got the Barbados as well. I have my uh, Age 1 Titus. I'm, I'm a happy camper. I'm not really going to be splurging a lot of, um, of my, my chips on these. I might actually save them all for another uh, banner that, that might come out next week. So we'll definitely see. Let's take a look at these. Now, before you summon on any of these, you need to take a look at what you're buying. So we have Exia right here. Uh, we can take a look at some of the info. So take a look at the body. Piers, this is all max level. Infighter job. Okay, so Infighter job, EX skill, uh, uh, cooldown reduced 20%. That's really good. Uh, so you have to be an infighter. Your your actual license has to be infighter in order to use this ability. So that kind of limits you already uh, in case you want to try and be an outfighter or if you want to be um, maybe a, uh, a short range shooter. Oh, hey, thank you HDM Legacy for the subscription. Um, but other than that, word tag, Gundam type, close combat. So those are really good word tags for this mobile suit. And it's looking like the um, the overall perimeters is really good. Uh, 16, hey, 1600 for melee defense and armor is actually fairly decent. So we we'll take a look at the uh, the head real quick. So with the head, we're gonna have a lot of that shot attack because um, I, I just actually f uh, figured out or I, f I I learned that the head is primarily um, targeted towards your actual shooting abilities. So the head is normally going to have a higher shot attack than melee. What, what is going to have uh, better melee is going to be the arms. So that's something you got to look for if you want to be more of a melee or if you want to be more of a shooter or supportive. You got to look at the head. You got to look at the arms. Um, and also the body. The body is kind of like more of the core. So the X skill. Recover 48% of your maximum armor. Now there's a 20, 21 second cooldown. A lot can happen in 21 seconds. Um, so we'll definitely see recovery is 48%, which is really good. And you can only imagine um, like how much how much the tables can turn when you pop this off. Maybe even late game if you're trying to like run away and you're like, man, I'm I need I need my ex skills uh, to you know finish up on their cooldown. I'm 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 a little bit around like 20% of health. What do I need to do? Bam, pop your recovery tool, and you can still stay in the game and start uh, popping off some other abilities. So let's take a look at another um, another part. So here we have the arms. So you're gonna have double sabers, uh, melee beam weapon. You're gonna have piercing D, power B plus. Not too bad. First time, six seconds. Uh, cool down, 21 seconds, which is just on par with the uh, the recovery. Cleave through enemies with sabers in each hand. So there's no extra uh, secondary ability. These are just really good melee attacks. So you can only imagine this is going to be powered up with that close combat word tag as well. Now we're taking a look at the legs. So we got edge fling. It's a uh, physical melee. Piercing A, that's super damn good. Uh, power D, first time to use is going to be 3 seconds, cooldown 21. Hey, we're seeing a trend here. Uh, throw the twin blades on your legs. So he does have the twin blades um, that is going to be on this, um, the sides. And that's 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 pretty good. That's a long range attack. Uh, but it's considered a physical melee. So even though it is, he's it's a long range attack. But it, it's, it's kind of as physical melee, something that you're going to be using a lot. Um, you're not really going to be focused on shooting anything with a, a long distance attack. So that's actually really good. You can get those long range attacks in while still doing maximum damage. And here we have is the GN Drive. So you're going to have Trans Am Raid. Um, so category Beam Melee, okay, Piercing D, Power A, that's really good. Cooldown is huge, 79 seconds. First time is 20 seconds. So you're not... You're not jumping in the battle doing this. This is going to be a uh, you know a 20 second wait to even start this, and then you know 79 seconds later. That's a lot. Um, release particles in your GN drive for a high speed attack. Raise melee attack of your squad by 39 percent. This is what I'm still confused. There, there's no time on this. It says raise melee attack of your squad by 39 percent. I wanna I want to assume that is a permanent buff. If someone can correct me, please definitely correct me. But to my knowledge, that is a permanent buff of 39%. That is huge. And it says of your squad, I want to say that's including you. It's not just your, your two partners because it would say allies. So when it says squad, you, you should be included in that per the verbiage. 
Um, now, four base is going to be a new word tag for this called raise all, well, raises all perimeters 1% while active. Base category gets an extra 3%. So if you are on a base terrain, and you'll see it in the arenas, uh, you'll definitely know you get an extra 3%. So that's really good. Make, make sure whenever you're in the arenas or you're in any kind of area, keep an eye on the terrain because you don't want to just jump in and thinking you're automatically getting the 3%. You have to make sure that that's actually what you're getting. And now with the GN Sword. So with speed attribute self, uh, initial EX skill charge boosted 20%. So, wow, that is really good. So that is that is fueling your uh, your Trans Am mode. If, man, okay. So I was uninterested in the beginning. I think I became a little bit more interested because I didn't really realize that this ability existed on the, uh, the sword. I, I, I kind of glanced through all the parts, but now looking at the sword, that's really really good um e yeah your initial ex skill charge is boosted 20 percent. so it says initial so that should be the first time as soon as you enter the battle so instead of that 21 i think it was like 21 seconds for trans am that's going to be cut by 20 percent. so i mean you're looking at what about um like 17 ish about 17 seconds so that's that's really good man uh, but that's only if you get it to level 10 so obviously obviously it's going to be cut by a lot maybe around like 10 percent or even less than that now if you didn't know the gn sword is going to also be a gn uh pistol so if you look over here it keeps not doing that so the rifle mode it's actually a separate piece the it, it's not all built into one part you're actually going to have to get this separately in order to use the gn sword as an actual like beam rifle so this one, parts traits, is when armor is 40% or more, enemy strong melee power reduced by 30%. 30%. That's really good. Um, that's that's kind of in line with the Titus, I, actually. So this is this is looking to be super positive. That that shot attack though, 3,000. That is a lot. That is quite a bit. So this is something I honestly would probably recommend you to try and go and get because this this looks like it's going to be a mobile suit. That is going to be reaching some top tiers. Um, and obviously, lastly, we have the uh, GN Shield. When armor is 40% or more, EX skill damage output boosted by 35. That's just straight 35 damage, not percentage. So that's pretty good as well because it's going to really um, you know, add on to the uh, the twin blades and everything and the dual uh, beam sabers. Uh, now for I mean for this one as, uh, as well, Dynamis. Dynamis is looking really good. It's going to have long uh, shooter job. So it's... it's basically the same thing except for melee it's going to be just ranged uh shots that's what i'm seeing so shot guidance booted boosted by 17 percent uh you got some gm missiles which is really good so fi um, fire guided missiles piercing is going to be a so it's almost a clone of exia just it's definitely focused a hell of a lot more on um just long range so release particles in gm drive high speed attack raise your shot attack by 29 percent so that's yeah that's, that's really damn good um, but that's pretty much it guys. So do I think, do I think this is worth the pickup? Um, I want to say yes. If, if you really want a very good melee suit, I, I want to say this is going to be top contender for, for best melee. Um, obviously I'm still going to be, you know, rooting for my boy Titus, but looking at this, this is going to be good. Now you're going to want to do the 10 times drops, obviously 17% is, is could be damn good um seven percent is going to be on each of these individual parts so even though it's 17 percent, you still got the seven percent on if any of those two new parts are going to drop now the rest of this banner this is a keynote the rest of this banner is exactly the same as the new banner so if you was like if you was harping on the new banner to try and get like barbados parts i'm not saying you wasted chips but you kind of wasted chips um and i didn't know this at all either i was thinking you know like hey it's gonna be a completely new banner with new parts no the only new things you're getting is the dynamis and the exius so hey it uh it definitely sucks uh, i don't i don't know what to say now lastly let's go ahead and look at the uh the ai you got Shar as the bull there's nothing else that needs to be said uh so he is going to be Let's see, parse traits with speed attribute self, all damage taken reduced by 20%. That is really damn good. So it's going to be a speed attribute. Um, he's also going to be, that is an outfighter. He's going to be an outfighter. I can see this really being good for the uh, the Zaku 2, the three star. If you want to use that, this is going to be the key um, AI to use for him. 
But yeah, speed attribute, I mean, that's a lot of good mobile suits right now. Even um, the new Gundam. However, I'm not I'm not an outfighter for the new Gundam. I'm definitely a, uh, a long range. But hey, raises shot attack 10% while active. And Commander raises shot attack and beam resistance by 5%. So looking really good. And just some of the other, uh, the other one that we have right here. Let's take a look. So there's a power. This one is mid, mid shooting. Let's see. With power attribute, buff EX skill effect up 50, 15%. So this is uh, EX skill effect, not like damage percentage. So if the effect is, hey, increases everyone's, you know, um, uh, damage output by 35%, hey, that's going to increase it by 15%. Uh, heavy armor raises melee and shot defense 5%. And high firepower raises melee and shot attack 5% while active. Hey, pretty damn good. Um, Jolie is pretty, I don't know, I think she's okay. And I'm, I'm trusting that there's actually different ones. I didn't really go through much of the AI whenever they uh, initially release, so I'm I can't say for certain how many of these are, are are new or if every single one of these are old, except for the two that are advertised. Uh, yeah. So I think it's I think it's really just Char is the main one that uh, that's well Char and uh, Jolie. I think those two are the only brand new ones to this entire thing. Jolie has a 15% drop rate. That is ridiculous. So that's, that's, that's pretty good, really high. Uh, other than that though, the banner itself is cool and you're gonna have to pull from it if you're gonna want uh, more from the uh, the events, the, some of the coins. So unfortunately you are gonna have to pull from it because hey, you, you're gonna want those event coins. Uh, but that's it for me guys, definitely appreciate all of you for watching. Uh, like always, definitely rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll be seeing y'all in the next upcoming video. Bye bye.